Why in the world was this movie made? Jesus Christ! It is he who commands! Why don't you, Matt? Oh, do you have an ex- introduction for this Exorcist franchise summation episode? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's the same old intro. Welcome to License to Watch, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome mm-hmm. to License to Watch. Let's get ready to <laughs> watch. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we need a Jock Jams intro. Yes. Oh, that's good. <laughs> My cat is currently looking at me like I'm insane. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, it's How 11 o'clock. You? What are you yelling yeah. for? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Guys, it's our it's our Exorcist wrap-up episode. I... I I think it would be hilarious, like, to have a sketch or something where a cat and his, like, his thing is saying, like, decorum, decorum, please. <laughs> the cat is saying that or the owner is saying that? No, the, the cat. As, oh, I thought, like, the cat is puking on the couch and the, and the, the owner is going, decorum, please. <laughs> yeah, both. <laughs> it's a it's a priest and he's like and the cat's puking on the pews and the and the priest is like this is a house of worship <laughs> the Show power of christ decorum. compels you <laughs> decorum please all right i don't know i don't know where that was from but i don't know what's going on here i'm very confused uh but the power of christ compels us to decide which is the greatest exorcist movie and if this franchise is any fucking good at all yeah, we have a lot of numbers, a lot of math to do, so let's let's get Matt, cracking. Here. Matt, hit us with some math so we can react to the math that we've. Made. Guys, I'm gonna hit you with something, uh, something quite shocking that's never happened before. Uh, we have for the first time ever. I mean, well, so there's five movies. The f- uh, we're gonna go in order. I'm gonna tell you what the the least favorite or the, the lowest score movie is, and then we'll go all the way up to the highest score reveal. Um, so the lowest score for number five, fifth place here is actually for fourth place because it's two movies tied down to the to the fraction like to the to the half decimal, point the third to the half dolphin th- third <laughs> d- to the half dolphin <laughs> so ready i mean you guys could check my math on this but right now exorcist 3 w- william peter blatty's exorcist 3 actual title of the film and dominion prequel to the exorcist have an average score of 3.375. Whoa. Hold on. Let me get yeah. my uh, TI-83. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> well, that seems insane to me since Dominion was a bad movie, but The Exorcist 3 was literally one of the worst movies I've ever seen. I mean, it is, <laughs> I thought you were going to say a good movie. It is so bad. Like, it blows my mind that Dominion is... I mean, granted, I think I was the person who gave Dominion its highest score, but it, but I didn't like Dominion. It's a it's a low score. It's it's a four. I gave it a four. Colin gave Dominion a three. Yeah. Harris gave it a four. I gave it a three, and Jeannie Joe gave it a three point five. You know what I, I'm realizing would have helped Dominion is if I had ordered a Domino's and I was eating Dominionos. <laughs> 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 or if you were if you were watching Dominion on the TV at Bennigan's, and yeah. you were definitely watching Beginions. It was like a Beginion <laughs> synthesis. And I ordered do- and I ordered Domino's, and I brought it into the Bennigan's, and I got it's away just, with it. It's just it is definitely <laughs> worse than Exorcist Three, which is it bothers me that it's tied with it. What was the Exorcist Three scores? The Exorcist Three scores. Colin gave it a four. Harris gave it a one. Yeah, I gave it a two, and uh, and 
Jacob Strick gave it a 6.5. <laughs> Jacob, Jacob, Strick, Strick. Jacob Strick loved that movie. He had such a boner for yeah. the movie. that Could I change somebody else's score? Because I would change Jacob <laughs> Strick's ridiculous 6.5. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's look, the real killer. I think that's we got to live with that. We can't change a guest score. You know, I can't give it lower than a one because as bad as it is, I still think there might be a movie that I haven't seen yet that's a zero. So I, I, I'm gonna stick with my. And also, I can't give big. Uh, uh, I can't give Dominion higher than a three because it really isn't a good movie. So, Colin, I feel like you you got to be the one to change your score on this. On this? No, I'm gonna change my score on something else. And. It, <laughs> What what's to blame here is that uh, I really think Jacob is is the Fabio vote. You know, that's the you put Fabio in a movie. I think Jacob's gonna gonna at least give it above a five, and that's what we're seeing here. I I saw Jacob as more like the George C. Scott vote, like <laughs> like man getting hit in the groin by football. Jacob is the Jacob is like yes, give it the Oscar, give it all the awards now. Um, he nailed guys. That. You know what? I think I'm going to help us out. I think I think this is my score change here. I think I'm going to give my score. Uh, He's going to raise it. Exorcist three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gave Exorcist three a two, and I think I'm going to drop it down to a one. Score change. It is really bad. So that's like a legit. I understand that. I think that's yep. defensible. As somebody who gave it a one, also. <laughs> I think it deserves to be the last movie, the the shittiest. It's one. It's an incredibly bad movie. It's what did Colin give that? Four. <laughs> yeah, shame, yeah. Colin. Shame. He should have been yeah. the one to change it. Uh, you know, in fairness, Colin's Colin's score range usually only vacillates between like a nine and a seven. So, so a four is actually rock bottom for Colin. It's just kind uh, of shocking that he didn't know. go even lower for that particular turd. I like to watch stuff. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it's pretty much like oh wait does it have an audio visual component where I can both watch it and hear it at the same time well that's automatically it's like getting points for signing exactly your name right on the SATs is. Colin is yeah. like well you're, you start off at a five and the less I get to watch that's what you, my you really <laughs> have to like really offend me to go like below you know a certain number um, all right so now that we've worked that out our fifth place movie is Exorcist three. William Peter Blatty's Exorcist 3. So we, we've got that. It's got now uh, an average of 3.1 points. Very appropriate. Okay, this so is a terrible, terrible fucking movie. Yes. So now we're moving on to our fourth place movie, which is, of course, Dominion prequel to The Exorcist, which has an average of 5.2. 5.25, I should say. Yeah, wow. Also very bad. Also very, very bad. How is it above uh, a 5? Oh, I'm sorry. Wait, I'm reading the wrong one. It has a 3.375. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I think none of us yeah. gave it a five. How, how right. can it be It has above the same that? average that I gave just a minute ago. <laughs> yes, we all hated it. Yes, it was terrible. Right, it was and terrible so we're keeping it. it. No one wants to make a change here? I do here. not want to make a change here. No, absolutely not. Great. It's going in the books. Matt, you don't have to write it in blood. <laughs> <laughs> Sicko. I'm getting a little woozy here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so up next, number three. Or, I mean, do we want to say, we kind of said a little bit about these movies, that they both suck. And yes, <laughs> we've, we've, we've right. covered how much everything sucks here. <laughs> All right. So, number three, third place, is Exorcist Two: The Heretic, mm-hmm. 1977's classic film. Um, the scores we gave it are, Colin gave it a six. Yeah. Harris gave it a six. I gave it a four. And Mina gave it a four. I almost so. want to move it up, but I I, I, I kind of want to move it up too because it's such a good <laughs> I'm movie. Going to do a different one. Oh, um, well, I gave it. I a will s- say at this point, it's moving it up is not gonna. Yeah, uh, I, I listen. I gave this a six, and I gave The Exorcist a seven, and I and this Exorcist two is not as good as The Exorcist. That is a fact. Um, and yet I am tempted to move this one up, only because. I mean, Locus. this was, you know, this was definitely. I felt like this one was better than, this was better than Beginnings, which apparently ranks higher than this on our list somehow. 
Um, yep. Mm-hmm. Which, which is, I mean, that's sort of my main complaint is that I feel like it's ranking in the wrong spot on the list, but I can't change it because I feel like all my scores, I don't think I'm changing a score here because I feel like I nailed all my scores. Beginning for me is a four. Confidence. Dom- Dominion's a four. Three is a one, and this is a six, and, and the original Exorcist is a seven. I, I'm stand by everything I've said so far, mm-hmm. and I don't really think I can change any of my scores, even though I wish this was rated higher, because I do think this is the second best movie in the franchise, but that's, I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to manufacture that. Well, I mean, it could change. It could. I already made my change, so I can't make a change, it but could. Colin, I could make a big difference here. I have the power. Just like when I pretended to be He-Man when I was a little kid, I have the power. And, and how did you do that? You you had a washcloth and a belt, and you were strapping <laughs> it around your... Cloth. Yeah, you made it into a Lloyd cloth. I mean, what did you do for the rest of the He-Man stuff? He doesn't run around I had in had another in a, belt that went diagonal, and then I had this sword. Well, you need two belts to go diagonal, because they crisscross your chest. Well, I ran out of belts, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a valid excuse. You're a young man. You can't own a lot of belts. I, I I probably asked my parents for three belts and they were like, "Put clothes on you." I gotta, fuck. Yeah, I gotta say you were a little you were a little more like nudity forward than I was because I definitely ran around my house with two belts strapped around my chest and pretended I was He Man, but I was also fully clothed underneath those belts. <laughs> underneath the belts, you had a shirt. Yes. I had a shirt. You didn't even I had go pants. topless. I might even had a coat on. I might have had a little jacket and a tie. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. you you wouldn't even go topless. Why? Oh no, that's no, not no, fair. No. Shouldn't I shame was, a young man like I that. I was very thin. I was very thin. <laughs> I was the, I was the, you know like when there was like a when there was like when you went to the pool for the class trip, and all the fat kids wore their t shirts in the pool. I was a skinny kid who also wore his t shirt into the pool. It was like, uh, <laughs> it was I've like worn my I'm also in embarrassed about my torso. <laughs> I've worn my t shirt in a pool. Know yeah. this. I was all about that. I had dinner plate nipples, so I wore <laughs> I was, a shirt all the time. Oh, Matt, you didn't Don't have get to me say started it. on my nipples. You didn't have to say it. I knew exactly I knew exactly what kind of nipples you had and exactly why you were wearing a shirt in a pool. I could tell. You know what I hate about my nipples is 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 I don't feel like there should be that kind of puffiness. <laughs> I just I just hate the way they don't retain body glitter the way they should. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they should have a little more body glitter retention <laughs> elements there. You just need you just need to find someone who's like willing to make body glitter permanent. Like <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Just tattoo the body glitter on my nipples. Yeah. All right, Colin, are you changing your fucking score or what? <laughs> which what, which movie are we on? What movie are we talking Exorcist about? Exorcist Two. No, Exorcist Two is great. It's great. So you're gonna leave it so that Exorcist the beginning is gonna be the number two movie. No, because Exorcist is the beginning is the score I'm gonna lower. <gasps> oh, oh, twist oh, ending, man. just twist ending, just like in Exorcist the beginning. <laughs> yeah, see, I wow. built up, I built up the suspense with all that nipple talk. <laughs> nice job, <laughs> nice job. You really shamaland us. So here we are, the number two movie, Exorcist the beginning. We Colin gave it a six, Harris gave it a four, I gave it a five, and Julio Vincent Gambuto gave it a six. Averaging out oh, to five point two. Our fucking guests are too nice. <laughs> Just edging out uh, Exorcist Two. Uh, yeah, so uh, drop that For sucker now. down. You know why? Because I would rather watch Exorcist Two than any of the ones that we. You we've know watched. it. You know it. All right, your six is becoming a five. It doesn't mean it's better. But it does. It doesn't even mean it's good. <laughs> it it just means mean that y- we would rather watch it in all its badness, yeah. in all its remarkable, wonderful, satisfying badness. I swear to God, I might never even watch the original Exorcist again, but I know at some point in my life, I will decide to put on Exorcist 2 again. It is so yeah. hilariously bad, but also so good in so many good ways, important ways. Uh oh, guys. We have some troubling news here. It didn't, didn't well, work. If the math. If the math holds up, these movies both average out to a five right now. Oh no! So they are they are tied. So that means someone else has to make a score change in order to make something happen. I'll do oh, it. Julio. Hey, wait! I just said. <laughs> wait! I just said basically all you need to know, which is that I may never watch the original Exorcist the movie again, <laughs> but I will definitely watch the Exorcist two again. I think that is enough for me to bump my Exorcist two score up to a seven. 
I think the sequel oh, the sequel is as good as the first one. <laughs> I wanted the double dragon sound effect for mine because I was I was kicking it up a notch. Yeah. <laughs> double dragon. We'll fix it in we post. We still have those, right? <laughs> yes. That's the one. <laughs> yes. Yes. That's the sound of the Exorcist 2 moving on up. Mm-hmm. All right, so hold on. Let me do some math here. You guys talk amongst yourselves while I do this. What was your favorite part of The Exorcist 2? Was it her outside in that badass apartment with the doves? Well, I, why are you trying to divert back to talking about nipples again? <laughs> <laughs> was it was it her um, trying to bring him down to her level? <laughs> bring your level down to my, bring your level down to my level, Colin. <laughs> uh, bring your tone down to my tone. <laughs> No, I did. I saw. So I like Googled like if there's any kind of like merch for Exorcist 2 after we watched it. (laughs) And I saw like a really badass like fan art t shirt of just her standing on the balcony. And it's like, it was cool as fuck. And um, there's something else. I I still want like a. Do they make it in large tall? (laughs) Because I'm in. If they make it in large tall, I'm in. (laughs) Probably. I'll look it back up again and I'll share it uh, privately. Because that is the actually, it's weird. Because when I think about The Exorcist two, that's the first thing I think of is her standing on that ledge. Like it's because there's other more memorable parts of that movie, but that is what I kind of like. I think of James Earl Jones and the locust headdress. Like, well, yes, obviously that is a huge. huge I I also honestly I I think of the hero locust, like the single locust. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, that is obviously not a living thing on the that hovers in the room in Washington D.C. and (laughs) and just observes people for the devil. (laughs) Yeah. Is it, no, just the one that's like the 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 entire frame is just like a locus, and it's just kind of like right. floating over yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah. yes. Well, let the record let the record show that when the Exorcist two needed my help, I spit a jaguar and knocked it up to Exorcist <laughs> to Exorcist one level. Incredible, incredible! It's the sort of move that we needed. It was almost like it was testing your faith, and it told you to walk across the spikes. And then you woke up on the floor of some doctor's office, and he totally understood why you were and there. Yeah, he was like reason. totally. <laughs> cool with it he was like this happens all the time what happened was you spit up seven seven timothy dolphins don't mind my face makeup he says i'm I'm kakumo i'm here to help you i know this let me put on my doctor headdress (laughs) all right guys this brings us to our our top movie of the series which of course is none other than the classic 1973 movie that started it all the exorcist with 8.2 points, a full three points ahead of the movie directly below it. That we had to rig um, to be that high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah Colin it. gave it an eight. Harris gave it a seven. I gave it the coveted 10. And Jenna Quigley gave it an eight. Nice. Wonderful. Wonderful scores. Yeah. Um, Guys, I mean, what, what can we reflect about the Exorcist uh, franchise? I mean, what did they do right? What did they do wrong? Mostly things wrong. It was it was a shitty franchise that has not aged well. As you know, even I gave I gave the first one a seven because it just it didn't. Yeah, you're a little hard on the classic horror films. I know you don't like Rosemary's Baby too. Oh, I Rosemary's Baby is, is like a one joke film. It's like it's like all build there's up. No to, jokes. It's it's all build up to the end of where it's like oh it's the devil's baby and she keeps it. It's like what the f- like that's the entire like there's not a lot uh, well I'll save it for our Rosemary's Baby podcast but like all I'm saying is that I think <laughs> so a lot of these you're saying it's a very funny movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that a lot of these older films and whether this is just my cuz the other thing is I didn't watch horror movies as a kid. I don't I didn't really care for them and I've only gotten into them as an adult and I appreciate them more for their craftsmanship than for their I'm not a person who like gets scared by movies. I'm also not a person who really laughs at movies. I kind of like I can appreciate the idea of it being scary or the idea of it being funny, but I don't really feel it. And so it's so you're pretty much data from Star Trek. <laughs> yeah. You have no emotions. <laughs> I feel like I do. I cry at movies. I do. Th- I do that like all the time. I've got data's. I've got data's emotion chip that makes me cry at like Pixar movies. But I don't have the one that makes me scared at scary movies because it's all kind of. It's always seemed kind of fake to me. And the first Exorcist, there are very few moments in that where I'm like, "Ooh, this is actually chilling or suspenseful." Which, if you don't have that. You don't have anything, you know. Like I appreciate the craftsmanship of it, and I appreciate the score I would say it and does the actors. Have that. <laughs> but like, where? Like, what are the moments in the first Exorcist movie? You think it's not thrilling or scary or suspenseful? I, d- I, 
don't think it has a I lot mean, of I those would, moments. I would say the rest of the world uh, or country at the very least like disagrees with. What me. are the moments that I, stand out to you as like, oh, that was a great shocking moment? Like that I when mean, the priest when is like, I don't want to go to the vagina. The, <laughs> the stabs herself in the vagina was one of the moments I that I pointed out was a point where I was like, okay, this is, but it's more like gross and and upsetting to watch. But it's still, it's definitely viscerally upsetting. I give you. That. I think when she pees on the floor is like scary. I think when she does the crab walk thing, that's scary. Um, I think when when the priest says he doesn't want to go to the movies with the with the detective, <laughs> that's scary. <laughs> um, <laughs> I said that earlier, but Matt was talking at the same time. So I <laughs> yeah, no, we'll um, use this. Guys, <laughs> that was better. Do you guys use the Citizen app? Do you guys have that app on your phones? Um, um, that's I think a, it's that's like isn't the next that door, talk right? about when black people are walking through your neighborhood. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like I just got one that just said the headline just said stabbing at KFC, <laughs> 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 which really could mean anything. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, you no, stab the chicken I, when you cut it. I yeah. don't have that <laughs> app only because I don't want to narc on my neighbors for stupid bullshit reasons. I don't know. <laughs> Did anyone hear those gunshots? <laughs> yeah. It's fireworks. Yeah. And I, it's always fireworks. It's always fireworks. Yeah, especially in LA. It's, although, like, yeah. what I do do is occasionally I will look at the, um, there's those little <laughs> maps of your neighborhood that LA PD will put out that has just, like, it's like a crime report thing where you can look at what's happening in your neighborhood. And then I'm always looking at them and being like, oh, somebody committed a rape a block away from me at five in the evening? on like a city street like what like what was the i always want to know what the context yeah i know it's like horrifying i've seen it like i've never used any of these apps but like i've seen it like what you're talking about before where it's like they're it's they're doing something that seems like a really horrible crime at a time and in a place where it seems like anyone could have seen them do it you know right yeah exactly like it's out in the open in like a nice part of my neighborhood that i'm like what how is and i don't live in a nice neighborhood so there's crimes all over the place but every once in a while i'll see one and i'm like ooh, that's like a highlight real crime um yeah Uh, i also worry about the people who are like oh yeah like i see something really bad is happening so i'll put it in the app and walk away (laughs) you know like (laughs) Like, don't say something or call the police. Yeah. Just put it in the citizen app and like forget about it. Like, <laughs> um, so just in case you guys were wondering how this franchise stacks up compared to the others that we've covered, um, Mission Impossible we gave an eight, Star Trek we gave a seven, and now the average for Exorcist, you guessed it, a five. That makes sense to me. This it just hasn't. I mean, first of all, all the sequels were fucking terrible. Even Exorcist Two, which is terrible but also great and worth watching, <laughs> but they're all bad. I think you know, like I think it's a sign. I think we need to do Short Circuit next because Number Five is live, and um, I look forward to doing uh, Short Circuit. Here's the Johnny thing, Colin: is alive, if right? if yes. you want to if you want to choose Short Circuit for your movie, that is fine. <laughs> it is a, a franchise. A, it's a, yeah, it is. Yeah. I, I encourage you. <laughs> is twenty twenty one going to be the year of the twofer? I mean, we all just pick like a series that has two movies. <laughs> oh, no, I'm down. If we want to make like a pact that we're all going to do that, I'm totally down, down with it. I, <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I, I feel like Matt Colin doesn't have enough through, blood left for the pact. Colin made us through the entirety blood. of the fucking Help Star me. Trek franchise, Help. so I feel like he owes us a twofer. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Um, um when are yeah, we getting seen... a short circuit remake like it does it they just can't build a, a robot that's lovable um, like that wait again? did you not see <laughs> wally that's not that's or not Chappie? good enough <laughs> have you seen Chappie? Yeah, I've seen Chappie. Chappie. <laughs> we should do short circuit but we should include Chappie and wally as the sequels <laughs> the unofficial sequels. those are the bonus that's movies. where the that's where the uh, short circuit robot showed up again <laughs> just his face though the short circuit robots actually wally is basically the short circuit robot there's like almost no difference it's weird how like they designed it pixar designed a robot and they, were, and they didn't notice that they were just fucking ripping off johnny five um if we do <laughs> Chappie. can i pretend that hugh jackman is van helsing and in- <laughs> In the story, you can do whatever you want, Colin. Whatever yeah, gets Colin, you through the day. I've stopped trying to figure out what you're doing in these little like bits that you do. I, I don't even try to keep up anymore. I just like sort of. I usually mute you when you start talking a lot and just let you go until you stop moving. <laughs> That's how I died. <laughs> um, 
No, I mean sometimes I'm just using like the stream of consciousness, man. Just letting it sometimes. Flow. Yeah, uh, you're streaming on something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does that wrap Netflix? up? Right. Alexis's wrap up. Am I streaming? It sure on does. Netflix? Is that what you mean? <laughs> oh God. All right, everyone. Um, thanks for listening. Speaking and we of streaming on Netflix, watching. everyone check out Rust Creek streaming on Netflix on November 30th at the end of the month. Rust Creek, a movie I produced wow. and wrote part of. I'm just gonna plug it. I'm just plugging it. Just can I not plug my stuff? Come on, let me plug my stuff. Russ Creek. Mm -hmm. That's, He's plugging that's away. Great. Look at him plug himself. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say this, but I might have to delete it if it doesn't happen. But I believe a film that I edited is on Netflix right now. Uh, it is called The App That Stole Christmas. So everyone should go check that out right now or not. We what should record commercials. Is it a dating app? <laughs> it, it's, a, it's like a, a gift buying app. It's for the holidays. Is it a horror movie? Mm, in some ways, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's a fun, family-friendly movie. Okay. Good stuff. Starring Ray J. Good All right, stuff. Well, I'm just going to plug my uh, OnlyFans where you can see my butthole. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Colin's just going to plug his butthole, but only, but only for his OnlyFans. <laughs> No, I don't have an OnlyFans. If you're interested in seeing me get an Only OnlyFans, please contact me uh, outside of this. <laughs> yeah, if you guys reach out, <laughs> Colin will have an OnlyFans just yeah. for this, just for butthole, just for butthole plugging and butthole plugging aficionados. <laughs> uh, I, I'm right. willing to. I'm willing to go outside of the butthole. Uh, I feel like this. <laughs> I feel like we've done a lot of plugging here. Um, yeah, this is disgusting at this point. This is our most uh, <laughs> plug filled. It'd be episode. funny if we had a Patreon and an OnlyFans, <laughs> like a license to watch OnlyFans. <laughs> license to watch OnlyFans, yeah. where we plug even more stuff. <laughs> it's just the three of us. Like, I'd, we just record our Zoom. It's just the three of us jacking off. <laughs> Why would, oh why would we zoom each other? Did you? <laughs> we race each other, of course. Oh, we race. Oh, right. <laughs> right, right. But, but the zoom lag is a factor. <laughs> <laughs> if you think our clapping is off. Oh, my God. I don't know what it would take. I don't know what other windows I would have to have open <laughs> for me to pull that off, literally. <laughs> <laughs> for you to yank it up. Yeah. Oh, oh what a disturbing All concept. Right. All right, so Patreon members, vote if you want to see this. <laughs> this is once again we are slaves <laughs> to our fans. So <laughs> let us know. Just uh, get on the Patreon and just tell us shit you want to see us watch or do on our OnlyFans. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm done. Ugh. All right. I'm disgusted.